Hello. So it is uh, November 4th, which is the uh, the birthday of one of my favorite people um, in art, Robert Maplethorpe, who uh, his impact on art is, is it's there, you know, it, it's, he's controversial, amazing, um, polarizing, but I think he is uh, wonderful, and I'm a huge fan of Patti Smith, so um, I usually, around his birthday, I usually try to, you know, I flip through the, the books I have of him, and I have quite a few, um, and I have, you know, Just Kids by Patti Smith is absolutely wonderful. If you haven't read it, please do. But um, this is the, um, this book here is the Robert Mablethorpe the Archive, and it's published by um, Getty, um, and one of my favorite pictures of Robert is this one here. Um, and the Washington Post reprinted this um, some time ago for an article. And this was done in 74, it's just a, a self-portrait. Um, and he has the time, or he has the, the shutter release there. He's just kind of looking off to the side. I just, uh, against a whitewashed brick wall, I just think it's interesting. I love this book because it talks about influences as well as similar artistic work that, and his early work that he did um, when he was a teenager. He was a very cute teenager. So this is Season in Hell, the Author Rimbaud, um, uh book. And with Maplethorpe, he did a few of the pictures. There's not too many pictures in here, um, but it's a lovely book. It's still in print. This one makes me think he looks like, um, shoot, Eric. Roberts, yes, Eric Roberts, Emma Roberts' father, Julie Roberts' brother. Um, this is a season hell. This is the Bullfinch Press um, book, uh, originally published in '86, and we can look at some of the pictures here. I love the paper; it's super, super fine mohawk. So we have that one. This one with the fire, which I think is quite nice. And this one with the, the back and the butt. And the gun going off. Sort of a back with the shadow. A rose. And that's it. So there's not too many pictures in here. But I thought I could just read a little bit from it. It's in French. This edition has French in, French, and then English, but it's beautiful in both languages. So um, this is author Rimbaud. Um, Once, if I remember right, my life was a celebration where all hearts were open and all lines flowed. One night I sat beauty on my lap, and I found she was bitter. And I called her names. I found weapons to use against justice. I ran away. Poverty, hate, you witches. My treasure was left in your care. I managed to wither all human hope inside me. I attacked like a wild animal and strangled every joy. I called for executioners. I wanted to die chewing on their gun butts. I called for diseases so I could suffocate in sand and blood. Unhappiness was my god. I lay down in the mud and dried off in the crime-infested air. I played the fool until I was really crazy. And by the spring, I had the scary laugh of an idiot. Now a while ago, when I was about to go, ah, uh, for the last time, I thought I might, I'd try to find the key to that lost celebration where maybe I could recover my appetite. That key is selfless love, which goes to show you how I was dreaming. You stay a hyena, etc. Shall the demon who once crowned me with pretty poppies. Go find death. Use all your appetites, your egotism, and all the seven deadly sins. Oh, I did too much of that, but Satan, please, don't look so upset. And while we're waiting for a last few minute cowardices here, you like writers with no talent at all for description or instruction, so take these pages. They're for you. I tore them out of my notebook of a lost soul. 
And I think that's kind of very apropos for Maplethorpe. It just feels uh, right. And I love uh, the French uh, over here. Um, je me suis armé contre la justice. Je me suis en feu. Uh, la charité est cette clé. And that was the um, first part to a season in hell. So um, there it is. So this is really, I love this book. Um, but I thought I would share just a little tiny video to celebrate the birth of Robert Mapplethorpe. Though he is dead, his legacy lives on. Thank you so much for watching.